I got back from the desert races a little early and I had time to stop by and try out the RTI ramp. We decided to do it with a little twist and back the trailer up the ramp. So what you're gonna see is a little bit of shenanigans. Now this Jeep here is just a stunning build. It's all Genrite underneath and look at those coilovers. Pretty flexy. Give me some realtor gang signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Give me some realtor gang signs. Sick. Man, that's fucking Hyder Dick hat band right there. Oh, that's what I do, son. Get out of here. Oh, wait, hang on. Now you're, now you're really got the gang signs. Now he's hanging out the window. And uh, Did he get scored? Now are you gonna score him? You gotta score him. Oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Stay there, stay there, <laughs> It's my turn. We're gonna go up forward first. And they had me up pretty high. They, they had that right front wheel off the ground about a good foot. Um, it always feels like you're way further up the ramp than you really are. But the thing that limits the Toyota 4Runner and everything like it is that front end. It's independent suspension and they just don't articulate like a solid axle. However, they drive so nice down the highway, right? So it's a great daily driver that you can have fun with. And this thing's completely stock. I haven't done anything to this 4Runner yet. Okay, what you see here is Bronson's trying to get me light. He's trying to get it to where the, uh, the left rear wheel comes off the ground and, and moves around. But honestly, these things are odd because they will pull. Uh, you, you always have three wheels on the ground. There's always one up in the air. So it's always kind of exciting when you wheel these things because they always seem like they're going to flop on you. But they are pretty solid. Right. <laughs> 
I love this trailer. <laughs> it is really the perfect trailer to pull behind this vehicle. It, it's just perfect. It's super light. It articulates amazing and it would absolutely go anywhere you can take this forerunner and it follows perfectly in the tracks which is something you really want in an off-road trailer because you're not uh you're not hitting different rocks with the forerunner versus what the trailer's hitting if the rear wheel on the forerunner goes over a rock the trailer's going to go over that same rock in the same place it's just got the perfect uh turning radius with a locker. A lot of skinny pedal, Tom. A lot of skinny pedal. Hey, just bat that skinny pedal. You'll be all right. Tap it. Damn it. Way to show me up, asshole. <laughs> Mine won't go that far. <laughs> That's pretty good for a spacer lift. XJ for the win! Hey! Alright. Alright, Mike. Nope. Here we go. Right there. Do 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 a front dig! I believe you.